what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A family in Colorado is outraged after two men who were accused of raping a 13-year-old girl along with their cousins and brothers was sentenced to probation. Tommy Williams, 20, and Clarence Williams, 19, were each sentenced on Tuesday to a minimum of 10 years of sex offender intensive supervised probation with a maximum of life on probation. The men are two of six accused of sexually assaulting the young teen in December 2016 inside of the Stonebrook Terrace apartment complex in Colorado Springs. The group of suspects, some of whom are related as cousins or brothers and identified as Jacoby Williams, Tyrone Williams, James Williams, and a juvenile, in addition to Tommy and Clarence, were with the girl on December 19th. The victim told the police she knew one of the men and he invited her into an apartment to play video games. The 13-year-old said that she went to the home with some female friends, but they left when she went to the bathroom. Arrest records state that the two men then pulled the girl from the bathroom and forced her into a bedroom where the other four suspects were waiting. The victim's grandmother said at sentencing in February that the 13-year-old girl may never be able to have children. In January 2017, Tyrone Williams was also sentenced to 10 years to life of sex offender intense supervised probation. Before his sentencing, he apologized to the victim and her family and reportedly said, get this, y'all. If I knew she was underage, it would have never happened. The grandfather begged the 4th Judicial District Judge Michael McHenry to reject the defendant's pleas and order them to trial. But the judge instead went with the recommendation of the prosecutor and the victim's own mother and sentenced them to probation. In what world is this justice? And what about the friends who left her? I'm telling you, man, y'all women, you got to be careful. A lot of these women, they dirty, man. They're, they're not up to any good. What girls go to a house full of dudes? Well, let's just say two dudes, right? And leave their friend when she goes into the restroom. That don't even make sense. That lets me know that they were in on it. All of them knew exactly what was going on, except the 13-year-old victim. You got four dudes hiding in the bedroom. You got two dudes. I guess they were in the living room area or whatever. And then the other female girls, the other females leave. How convenient. And their friend gets raped. The, free, the friends leave when she goes into the restroom. And the friend gets raped. How convenient. They knew. That reminds me of the Kanika, uh, Kanika Jenkins case. <sighs> Everyone who lives in Colorado needs to remember that judge's name, Michael McHenry. When it's time for re-election, make sure you stick it to him. You got to get rid of that dude. Why the judge chose to be so lenient for such an egregious crime, I have no idea. The judge should definitely be looking for new employment. Hopefully one day, very soon, the streets will start taking care of these injustices against our community because obviously the judicial system is incapable of doing such. No more talk. What the talking about?